So students use the web in tech lessons, do they? Yes, they do. We use web technologies all the time for research and things like that. We also use computer-aided design to come up with models, visualise different things. And obviously that plays into video game design. You can design characters, so we have the software to create virtual people and start creating monsters and things like that that can be put into games that run on the Steam platform. Oh yeah, I know Steam. So, um, do you think video games could be used to teach children? In tech? Uh, I think they already do. I think we use something called West Point Bridge Designer, uh, which a lot of the students use to try and create a virtual structure that they have to test by then running a game of actually launching uh, a vehicle over it in a certain way and it gives you all the feedback as to whether it's going to work or it just crashes to the bottom of the, uh, of the canyon or whatever. Uh, so yeah, I think we already do that and I think there is possibility to, for that to happen more. So um, there's not much tech homework set unless you're doing food tech. But um, when you do set it, do you expect students to use the web to help them with it? Yeah, I think it is, it is almost an expectation that every student will have to use the, the computer and the internet at some point. It would be, it would be difficult, it wouldn't be impossible. Um, I think we probably don't get students to use the library enough. Um, the internet is a double-edged sword in technology because there's so much information online that is incorrect because it's user-generated that going somewhere like Cotton Library is probably a better thing to do and read a published article on something. Um, but those will very, very quickly get out of date and we obviously like students to have the most up-to-date information, the latest craze or fad or whatever it is that we want them to talk about and that is generally only available on the internet rather than in a published sort of newspaper or whatever. Okay, Mr Lawrence, thanks very much. All right, cheers.